Hey, Atheist Blind Chick, I hope you can excuse the little lines underneath my eyes and, uh, the fact that I'm a little pale. I haven't been feeling very good for some reason. Um, I'm sure you can see that. Uh, I, I don't know what it is, but it just seems like nobody's really explained to you what natural selection is. And you being a YouTube atheist as well, I thought it, 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 would, it would be wrong for me not to explain to you what it is. Um... Just something I've noticed, and maybe other YouTubers have noticed this as well, that she just doesn't quite understand what natural selection is. Um, so let me explain it to you, at least from what I've studied. Uh, natural selection uh, states that the organisms that can fit to their environment tend to survive, and the ones that can't die, let's be honest, gruesome deaths. Um, usually through starvation, which, you know, days of pain, and uh, whatnot for not being able to find um, food and water on their own. Um, nature is a beautiful thing, but it's also a brutal thing at the same time. Um, you know, if you watch the National Geographic's channel, you can see that quite a bit. But, uh, you know, I can think of some examples here. Uh, I, I have two cats that run around in my uh, videos. You've seen them before playing and whatnot. Um, Let's say one of them had three legs and one of them had four legs, and there was only enough food available for one to eat. Now, which one's going to get the food? The one that fits its environment the best, which would be the four-legged one. Would get to the food and eat and sustain life, while the three-legged one, again, would kind of die a rather painful death uh, through starvation. Um, not, not very pretty, not really something that I ever want to witness. Um, I'm sure that's something that you don't want to see either. So, uh, yeah, I, I could use this. I could use the cat example um, a little bit more. You know, cats that can smell the food would obviously know that the food's there easier. And let's say one can't, you know, uh, maybe ones with fur and ones that don't can't really, can't really, you know, sustain, you know, can't really survive during the winter months. Ones that can see, ones that can hear, you know, the list can go on and on and on about how one cat that can fit its environment would survive and the other one would die a rather gruesome death. Um, but let me kind of put this to you in kind of a more human example so that you can understand. Um, let's say me with no uh, visible uh, handicaps gets stuck on a island with, let me just pull this out of the air, a, a Scottish woman um, who has some sort of disability. Um, you, you can use your imagination of what it could be. Uh, I, and, and all of this on this on the, and all that's on this island is coconuts. Um, and I can see the coconuts and I can climb up and I can get to the coconuts. But let's say this Scottish woman, um, I, I believe is what I've decided to use. Uh, she couldn't, uh, see the coconuts for whatever reason. I'm sure you could be creative and think of something. She couldn't see the coconuts and there's only enough coconuts for me to survive. Um, Natural selection would say that I would survive because I would be able to climb up and get the coconuts and eat um, and there's not enough to share so uh, I would survive and this poor little Scottish woman who has some sort of disability would die um, again some sort of gruesome death uh, through starvation um, that's kind of a human example of it so I hope you understand a little bit more about natural selection. Uh, and also, just something that I'm kind of throwing out there. Um, I don't really have an opinion about this one way or another, but let's say that there are disabled people that um, need to be taken care of. Is it right for a um, person who doesn't have a disability to be kind of chained down to somebody who does, who has to take care of a disabled person? Is that, is that fair? Is that right? Just throwing this out there. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna give you my opinion on it, but, um, yeah. Alright, so, Atheist Blind Chick, I, I hope that you, uh, have learned something new about natural selection. And if you have any questions, of course, my, uh, PMs are always open to you. Um, well, real quick, l l let me show you this little chart here. Um, it kind of explains it better than I ever could, this little chart. Uh... Hey, there's really no explanation that needs to go on with this chart because you can see obviously what's going on here. Um, well, I will see you later. Peace.